This article discusses the phonological system of Standard Russian based on the Moscow dialect unless otherwise noted. For an overview of dialects in the Russian language, see Russian dialects. Most descriptions of Russian describe it as having five vowel phonemes, though there is some dispute over whether a sixth vowel is separate from i. Russian has 34 consonants, which can be divided into two sets. Hard to verdi tv rdj or plain soft magki m x k j or palatalized Russian also distinguishes hard consonants from soft palatalized consonants and from a soft consonant followed by j or a hard consonant followed by j, though the last is uncommon, c c c j c j, and preserves palatalized consonants that are followed by another consonant more often than other Slavic languages do. Like Polish, it has both hard postalveolars and soft ones, t. Russian has vowel reduction in unstressed syllables. This feature applies in Slavic languages like Belarusian, Ukrainian and Bulgarian, and is also found in English, but not in Western Slavic languages, such as Polish and Czech. <laughs> Vowels Russian has five or six vowels in stressed syllables, I, U, E, O, A, and in some analyses, but in most cases these vowels have merged to only two to four vowels when unstressed, I, U, A, or U, A, after hard consonants and I, U, after soft ones. A long-standing dispute among linguists is whether Russian has five vowel phonemes or six, that is, scholars disagree as to whether constitutes an allophone of I, or if there is an independent phoneme. The five-vowel analysis, taken up by the Moscow School, rests on the complementary distribution of and I, with the former occurring after hard non consonants and I elsewhere. The six-vowel view, held by the St. Petersburg Leningrad phonology school, points to several phenomena to make its case. Native Russian speakers' ability to articulate in isolation, for example, in the names of the letters I and Y. Rare instances of word initial including the minimal pair ICAT to produce the sound I and ECAT to produce the sound Y, as well as borrowed names and toponyms, like YB P, the name of a river and several villages in the Komi Republic. Morphological alternations like gotov tof, ready predicate, m, and gotovit tov, t, to get ready trans, between palatalized and non-palatalized consonants, the most popular view among linguists and that taken up in this article is that of the Moscow school, though Russian pedagogy has typically taught that there are six vowels the term phoneme is not used, reconstructions of Proto-Slavic show that asterisk i and asterisk y which correspond to i and were separate phonemes. On the other hand, numerous alternations between the two sounds in Russian indicate clearly that at one point the two sounds were reanalyzed as allophones of each other. Allophony Russian vowels are subject to considerable allophony, subject to both stress and the palatalization of neighboring consonants. In most unstressed positions, in fact, only three phonemes are distinguished after hard consonants, and only two after soft consonants. Unstressed, o, and, a, have merged to, a, a phenomenon known as Russian, akane tr. Akanje, unstressed, i, and, e, have merged to, i, Russian, ikane tr. Ikanje, and all four unstressed vowels have merged after soft consonants, except in absolute final position in a word. None of these mergers are represented in writing. Topic: <inaudible> Front vowels. When a preceding consonant is hard, i is retracted to. Formant studies in Paget 2001 demonstrate that is better characterized as slightly diphthongized from the velarization of the preceding consonant, implying that a phonological pattern of using velarization to enhance perceptual distinctiveness between hard and soft consonants is strongest before i. When unstressed, i becomes near close, that is, following a hard consonant and in most other environments. Between soft consonants, both stressed and unstressed, i, are raised, as in pit p -i -t to drink and malenki mal -nkj small. When preceded and followed by coronal or dorsal consonants, is fronted to. After a cluster of a labial and l, is retracted, as in plight p -t to float, it is also slightly diphthongized to, in native words, e, only follows unpaired i.e. the retroflexes and t, s, and soft consonants. 
after soft consonants but not before, it is a mid-vowel hereafter represented without the diacritic for simplicity, while a following soft consonant raises it to close mid e. Another allophone, an open mid, occurs word initially and between hard consonants. Preceding hard consonants retract e, to, and e, so that zest gesture and cell target are pronounced street and t, say, l, respectively. In words borrowed from other languages, e rarely follows soft consonants. This foreign pronunciation often persists in Russian for many years until the word is more fully adopted into Russian. For instance, sofer from French chauffeur was pronounced OFR in the early 20th century, but is now pronounced FR. On the other hand, the pronunciations of words such as hotel, TL, hotel retain the hard consonants despite a long presence in the language. Topic: <laughs> back vowels. Between soft consonants, a becomes a as in pat p at 5. When not following a soft consonant, a is retracted to before l, as in palka pk stick. For most speakers, o is a mid vowel o, but it can be more open for some speakers. Following a soft consonant, o is centralized and raised to as in teta tt and as with the other back vowels, u is centralized to between soft consonants, as in cut t t narrowly. When unstressed, u becomes near close central between soft consonants, centralized back in other positions. Topic: <inaudible> Unstressed vowels. Russian unstressed vowels have lower intensity and lower energy. They are typically shorter than stressed vowels and a e o i in most unstressed positions tend to undergo mergers for most dialects. O has merged with a, for instance, valley bulwarks and voli oxen are both pronounced v a l phonetically v. E has merged with i or i and if is considered a phoneme, for instance, Lisa Lisa fox and Lisa forests are both pronounced l i saw phonetically l saw. A o have merged with i after soft consonants, for instance, Masak Mazjats month is pronounced m s it s phonetically m s t s. The merger of unstressed e and i in particular is less universal in the pretonic pre-accented position than that of unstressed o and a. For example, speakers of some rural dialects as well as the old Petersburgian pronunciation may have the latter but not the former merger distinguishing between lisa l saw and lisa l saw but not between valley and voli both v the distinction in some loanwords between unstressed e and i or o and a is codified in some pronunciation dictionaries avanesov 1985 to 663 zarva 1993 to 15 for example forte fort and veto veto Unstressed e is sometimes preserved word finally, for example in second person plural or formal verb forms with the ending te, such as delate, you do, de ajit e, phonetically de j t e. As a result, in most unstressed positions, only three vowel phonemes are distinguished after hard consonants, u, a tilde o, and e tilde i, and only two after soft consonants, u, and a tilde o tilde e tilde i. For the most part, Russian orthography as opposed to that of closely related Belarusian does not reflect vowel reduction. This can be seen in Russian nebo nebo as against Belarusian neba neba sky, both of which can be phonemically analyzed as neba. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Vowel mergers. In terms of actual pronunciation, there are at least two different levels of vowel reduction. Vowels are less reduced when a syllable immediately precedes the stressed one, and more reduced in other positions. This is particularly visible in the realization of unstressed, o, and, a, where a less reduced allophone, appears alongside a more reduced allophone. The pronunciation of unstressed, o tilde a, is as follows. Sometimes transcribed as the former is phonetically correct for the standard Moscow pronunciation, whereas the latter is phonetically correct for the standard St. Petersburg pronunciation. This article uses only the symbol, appears in the following positions. In the syllable immediately before the stress, when a hard consonant precedes, param p rom fairy, trava trva grass. In absolute word initial position. 
In hiatus, when the vowel occurs twice without a consonant between, this is written a, au, oa, or u, subrasit s, bur at, to use common sense, to reason. Appears elsewhere, when a hard consonant precedes, oblaco ob, cloud. When a soft consonant or j precedes both o and a merge with i and are pronounced as example azik j zik tongue o is written as e in these positions. This merger also tends to occur after formerly soft consonants now pronounced hard t s where the pronunciation which after t s can be even lower occurs. This always occurs when the spelling uses the soft vowel variants e.g. zina na wife with underlying o. However, it also occurs in a few word roots where the spelling writes a hard a. Uh. Examples Zal regret, e.g. zalet l -et, to regret, k sozal e acute niu k's l n ju unfortunately Lasad horse, e.g. lasade, dej place gen, and acc Dcat in numbers, e.g. divadkati dvt, sti 20 gen, dat, prep, tridkatu trt, st ju 30 inst r Rizanoj rnoj rai aj m nam zasmin sm in jasmin these processes occur even across word boundaries as in pod morum pd mor m under the c the pronunciation of unstressed e tilde i is after soft consonants and j and word initially a tap tap stage but after hard consonants de sat d at to breathe there are a number of exceptions to the above vowel reduction rules Vowels may not merge in foreign borrowings, particularly with unusual or recently borrowed words such as radio, rad, o, radio. In such words, unstressed, a, may be pronounced as, regardless of context, unstressed, e, does not merge with, i, in initial position or after vowels, so word pairs like emigrant and immigrant, or emitiravat and imitiravat, differ in pronunciation. Across certain word final inflections, the reductions do not completely apply. For example, after soft or unpaired consonants, unstressed, a, e, and, i, of a final syllable may be distinguished from each other. For example, zateli tl residences contrasts with both o zatel, tl about a resident and zatella tl of a resident. If the first vowel of oa, or u belongs to the conjunctions no but or to then, it is not reduced, even when unstressed. Other changes Unstressed, u, is generally pronounced as a lax or near close, e.g. muschina m in man. Between soft consonants, it becomes centralized to, as in utitsa j t it s to huddle. Note a spelling irregularity in s of the reflexive suffix sa, with a preceding t in third person present and a t in infinitive, it is pronounced as t s, i.e. hard instead of with its soft counterpart, since t s, normally spelled with c, is traditionally always hard. In other forms, both pronunciations s and s alternate for a speaker with some usual form dependent preferences. In the outdated dialects, reflexive imperative verbs such as bajsa, lit. be afraid yourself may be pronounced with s instead of modern and phonetically consistent s in weakly stressed positions vowels may become voiceless between two voiceless consonants vistavka vist fuk exhibition potomu cdo pt muti because this may also happen in cases where only the following consonant is voiceless serap t er p skull topic <laughs> phonemic analysis because of mergers of different phonemes in unstressed position, the assignment of a particular phone to a phoneme requires phonological analysis. There have been different approaches to this problem. The St. Petersburg Phonology School assigns allophones to particular phonemes. For example, any is considered as a realization of a. The Moscow Phonology School uses an analysis with morphophonemes, morphoneme singular morphonema. It treats a given unstressed allophone as belonging to a particular morphophoneme depending on morphological alternations, or on etymology which is often reflected in the spelling. For example, is analyzed as either a, or o. To make a determination, one must seek out instances where an unstressed morpheme containing in one word is stressed in another word. Thus, because the word valley v shafts shows an alternation with val va shaft, this instance of belongs to the morphophoneme a. 
Meanwhile, voli v oxen alternates with volume vo ox, showing that this instance of belongs to the morphophoneme o. If there are no alternations between stressed and unstressed syllables for a particular morpheme, then the assignment is based on etymology. Some linguists prefer to avoid making the decision. Their terminology includes strong vowel phonemes the five for stressed vowels plus several weak phonemes for unstressed vowels, thus, represents the weak phoneme, which contrasts with other weak phonemes, but not with strong ones. Topic. Diphthongs Russian diphthongs all end in a non-syllabic an allophone of j, and the only semivowel in Russian. In all contexts other than after a vowel, j, is considered an approximant consonant. Phonological descriptions of j, may also classify it as a consonant even in the coda. In such descriptions, Russian has no diphthongs. The first part of diphthongs are subject to the same allophony as their constituent vowels. Examples of words with diphthongs, ajo jjt, so, eg, edge jedge, or dat, vestvenij dejstvnnj, effective, ij, written i or yj, is a common inflectional affix of adjectives, participles, and nouns, where it is often unstressed. At normal conversational speed, such unstressed endings may be monophthongized to. Topic consonants denotes palatalization, meaning the center of the tongue is raised during and after the articulation of the consonant. Phonemes that have at different times been disputed are enclosed in parentheses. Notes most consonant phonemes come in hard soft pairs, except for always hard t, s, and always soft t, j, and formerly. There is a marked tendency of Russian hard consonants to be velarized, though this is a subject of some academic dispute. Velarization is clearest before the front vowels, e, and, i, and, are always hard in native words even if spelling contains a softening letter after them, as in Xena, Selk, Zit, Miz, Zuri, Parasut, etc., and for most speakers also in foreign proper names, mostly of French or Lithuanian origin, e.g. Geldzuk, LDK, Zenafrik on Frik, Zulvern, Yulvern, Gerhard Schurer Arexerter, Solid long phonemes, and, do not pattern in the same ways that other hard soft pairs do. T, S, is generally listed among the always hard consonants, however, certain foreign proper names, including those of Ukrainian, Polish, Lithuanian, or German origin e.g. Karupa, Pachik, Kavlovsky, Kuri as well as loanwords e.g., Huakau from Chinese contain a soft T, S. The phonemicity of a soft T, S, is supported by neologisms that come from native word building processes e.g. Frisinok. However, according to Yanishevskaya and Bunchik 2015, T, S, really is always hard, and realizing it as palatalized T, S is considered emphatically non-standard, and occurs only in some regional accents. T, and, J, are always soft. Is also always soft. A formerly common pronunciation of, plus, T, indicates the sound may be two underlying phonemes, and, T, thus, can be considered as a marginal phoneme. In today's most widespread pronunciation, t appears instead of for orthographical zc, ski where c starts the root of a word, and z, s belongs to a preposition or a clearly distinguishable prefix e.g. bez kasiv bt, sof, without a clock, roschert at art, rt at, to rule, in all other cases, is used set katik, gruzchik ru k, peripishik prpik, skoste as tj, muschina m in, isapat pat, raspit rp at, etc. The marginal phoneme, is used only by speakers of the conservative Moscow accent, and is somewhat obsolete. The corresponding modern pronunciation is hard. This sound may derive from an underlying z, or s, za is it z, at, modern z, at. In modern accent it can only be formed by assimilative voicing of, including across words, vestok vdok. For more information, see alveolopalatal consonant and retroflex consonant. And, are somewhat concave apical postalveolar. They may be described as retroflex, e.g. by Hammond 2004, but this is to indicate that they are not laminal nor palatalized, not to say that they are subapical. Hard t, d, n, are laminal denti alveolar t, d, n, unlike in many other languages, n, does not become velar, before velar consonants. Hard, has been variously described as pharyngealized apical alveolar l, and velarized laminal denti alveolar l, Hard, r, is postalveolar, typically a trill, r. Soft, r, is an apical dental tap, or, less often, an apical dental trill, r. 
soft t d n are laminal alveolar t s d z n as indicated in the transcription in case of the first two the tongue is raised enough to produce slight frication soft l is either laminal alveolar l or laminal denti alveolar l T S S S Z Z are dental T S S S Z Z I E dentalized laminal alveolar. They are pronounced with the blade of the tongue very close to the upper front teeth, with the tip of the tongue resting behind lower front teeth. The voiced V V are often realized with weak friction V V or even as approximants, particularly in spontaneous speech. A marginal phoneme occurs instead of. In certain interjections, aga ogo yugu a j o go go a gi gi gop, thus, there exists a minimal pair of homographs, aga a aha versus aga a aga. The same sound can be found in bugalter, spelled hg, though in cjhgaz, hg is x, optionally in gabatis and in a few other loanwords. Also optionally, and less frequently than a century ago, can be used instead of f in certain religious words, a phenomenon influenced by Church Slavonic pronunciation. Boga bogu declension forms of bog god, gospod lord especially in the exclamation gospody, O lord, blogage good. Some linguists like I. G. and his school postulate the existence of a phonemic glottal stop. This marginal phoneme can be found, for example, in the word nae -a -n -e. Claimed minimal pairs for this phoneme include suzenij sunj narrowed a participle from suzet to narrow, with prefix s and root us, cf. Yuski narrow versus Susenij sunj betrothed originally a participle from sudit to judge now an adjective the root is sud court and sanej sanj with an versus sanej sanj by alex there is some dispute over the phonemicity of soft velar consonants typically the soft hard distinction is allophonic for velar consonants they become soft before front vowels as in karotkij k r o t k j short unless there is a word boundary in which case they are hard e g k ivanu k vanu to ivan hard variants occur everywhere else exceptions are represented mostly by loanwords soft gezi gerza gaur sakriti kex karas sanka hanga hard Coke saggies gelskij akin kabe kebabani proper nouns of foreign origin soft allegery gete gunter ganza zokakarta kenigsberg curacao kata houston hende hubner paharvi hard mangislik jerry kaiselkam camp david arhis wane the rare native examples are fairly new as most of them were coined in the last century Soft, forms of the verb cat, weave, keys, ticket, etc., and derivatives like sotkisa, dojanak, dogada, gerkojanak, gerkogada, and adverbial participles of the type berega, steriga, striga, zaga, peka, seka, ka. It is disputed whether these are part of the standard language or just informal colloquialisms. Hard, the name J of letter G, acronyms and derived words, Kagebesnik Naprozhezovsky a few interjections, Gi keys ej some onomatopoeic words, Gigikat and colloquial forms of certain patronyms, Oligik Markik Aristarhik where YC is a contraction of standard languages patronymical suffix ovik rather than a continuation of ancient ik. In the mid-20th century, a small number of reductionist approaches made by structuralist put forth that palatalized consonants occur as the result of a phonological process is involving j or palatalization as a phoneme in itself so that there were no underlying palatalized consonants despite such proposals linguists have long agreed that the underlying structure of russian is closer to that of its acoustic properties namely that soft consonants are separate phonemes in their own right topic <laughs> phonological processes Final devoicing Voiced consonants, b, b, d, d, v, v, z, z, and, are devoiced word finally unless the next word begins with a voiced obstruent. In addition to becoming voiceless, also lenites to x in some words, such as bog box. Voicing Russian features general regressive assimilation of voicing and palatalization. In longer clusters, this means that multiple consonants may be soft despite their underlyingly and orthographically being hard. 
The process of voicing assimilation applies across word boundaries when there is no pause between words. Within a morpheme, voicing is not distinctive before obstruents except for v and v when followed by a vowel or sonorant. The voicing or devoicing is determined by that of the final obstruent in the sequence, prosba pros b request, vodka vok vodka. In foreign borrowings, this isn't always the case for f, as in Adolf Gittler Dahl f -I -T -L -R, Adolf Hitler and Graf Bolli the count is ill, v, and, v, are unusual in that they seem transparent to voicing assimilation, in the syllable onset, both voiced and voiceless consonants may appear before, v, tvar tvar the creature, dva dva to, svetovoy s v t v o j of light, Zvezda Z v -Z -D -A star when V precedes and follows obstruents, the voicing of the cluster is governed by that of the final segment per the rule above, so that voiceless obstruents that precede V are voiced if V is followed by a voiced obstruent, e.g. K V D V D V to the widow, while a voiceless obstruent will devoice all segments, e.g. Bez V Puska B S F Pusk without an admission. T T S and X have voiced allophones D D Z and before voiced obstruents, as in doc by D -O -D -B, a daughter would and placidarm pd z darm bridge head. Other than per meter, and n, nasals and liquids devoice between voiceless consonants or a voiceless consonant and a pause, contarfers k o n t r, furs buttress. Topic: <laughs> Palatalization. Before, j, paired consonants that is, those that come in a hard-soft pair are normally soft as in pu p ju, I drink and bu b ju, I hit. However, the last consonant of prefixes and parts of compound words generally remains hard in the standard language, otes just departure, minus m i n just min istri of just ice, and only when prefix ends in s, or z, there exists an optional softening, says dit s jes dt to travel, Paired consonants preceding e are also soft, although there are exceptions from loanwords. Alternations across morpheme boundaries are the norm. The following examples show some of the morphological alternations between a hard consonant and its soft counterpart. Velar consonants are soft when preceding i within words. This means that velar consonants are never followed by before hard dental consonants. R labial and dental consonants are hard. Orla r a eagle gen s g. Topic. Assimilative palatalization Paired consonants preceding another consonant often inherit softness from it. This phenomenon in literary language has complicated and evolving rules with many exceptions, depending on what these consonants are, in what morphemic position they meet and to what style of speech the word belongs. In old Moscow pronunciation, softening was more widespread and regular, nowadays some cases that were once normative have become low colloquial or archaic. In fact, consonants can be softened to very different extent, become semi-hard or semi-soft. The more similar the consonants are, the more they tend to soften each other. Also, some consonants tend to be softened less, such as labials and r. Softening is stronger inside the word root and between root and suffix, it is weaker between prefix and root and weak or absent between a preposition and the word following. Before soft dental consonants, l, and often soft labial consonants, dental consonants other than t, s, are soft. x, is assimilated to the palatalization of the following velar consonant, legki lxkx lungs gen. Place Palatalization assimilation of labial consonants before labial consonants is in free variation with non-assimilation, that is bomb it to bomb is either bmb it or bmb it depending on the individual speaker. When hard, n, precedes its soft equivalent, it is also soft and likely to form a single long sound see gemination. This is slightly less common across affix boundaries. In addition to this, dental fricatives conform to the place of articulation, not just the palatalization of following postalveolars, s castu as t ju with a part. In careful speech, this does not occur across word boundaries. Russian has the rare feature of nasals not typically being assimilated in place of articulation. Both n and n appear before retroflex consonants. Denzonki d n onk money scornful and hanzaj x and oj sanctimonious one inst r. In the same context, other coronal consonants are always hard. 
Topic: <laughs> Consonant clusters. As a Slavic language, Russian has fewer phonotactic restrictions on consonants than many other languages, allowing for clusters that would be difficult for English speakers, this is especially so at the beginning of a syllable, where Russian speakers make no sonority distinctions between fricatives and stops. These reduced restrictions begin at the morphological level, outside of two morphemes that contain clusters of four consonants, vstre vstrek meet fstr et, fstr et, and sirs tv, sirs tv stale t, rs tv. Native Russian morphemes have a maximum consonant cluster size of three. For speakers who pronounce t instead of, words like obsige common also constitute clusters of this type. If j is considered a consonant in the coda position, then words like ajva quince contain semivowel plus consonant clusters. Affixation also creates consonant clusters. Some prefixes, the best known being v's, versus vz, fs, produce long word initial clusters when they attach to a morpheme beginning with consonants e.g., fs, plus, pk, vspiska fspk, flash. However, the four consonant limitation persists in the syllable onset. Clusters of three or more consonants are frequently simplified, usually through syncope of one of them, especially in casual pronunciation. Various cases of relaxed pronunciation in Russian can be seen here. All word initial four consonant clusters begin with vz or fs, followed by a stop or, in the case of x, a fricative, and a liquid. Because prepositions in Russian act like clitics, the syntactic phrase composed of a preposition most notably, the three that consist of just a single consonant, k, s and v and a following word constitutes a phonological word that acts like a single grammatical word. For example, the phrase s druzami with friends is pronounced z dr z jame. In the syllable coda, suffixes that contain no vowels may increase the final consonant cluster of a syllable e.g. noabrisk city of noabrisk, no jab, plus, sk, n jab sk, theoretically up to seven consonants, asterisk monstrastivi of monsterships. There is usually an audible release between these consecutive consonants at word boundaries, the major exception being clusters of homorganic consonants. Consonant cluster simplification in Russian includes degemination, syncope, dissimilation, and weak vowel insertion. For example, s is pronounced, as in rasolina, cleft. There are also a few isolated patterns of apparent cluster reduction as evidenced by the mismatch between pronunciation and orthography, arguably the result of historical simplifications. For example, dental stops are dropped between a dental continuant and a dental nasal or lateral, lest ni l esni flattering. Other examples include The simplifications of consonant clusters are done selectively, bookish style words and proper nouns are typically pronounced with all consonants even if they fit the pattern. For example, the word galinka is pronounced in a simplified manner ank for the meaning of Dutch oven a popular type of oven in Russia and in a full form antke for Dutch woman a more exotic meaning. In certain cases, this syncope produces homophones, e.g. kosni bony and kosnij rigid, both are pronounced kosni. Another method of dealing with consonant clusters is inserting an epithetic vowel both in spelling and in pronunciation, o after most prepositions and prefixes that normally end in a consonant. This includes both historically motivated usage and cases of its modern extrapolations. There are no strict limits when the epithetic o is obligatory, optional, or prohibited. One of the most typical cases of the epithetic O is between a morpheme final consonant and a cluster starting with the same or similar consonant e.g. sisradi from Wednesday, s, plus, senior d, ssrd, not asterisk sradi, ototru all scrub, ot, plus, true, t true, not asterisk otru. Topic. Supplementary notes There are numerous ways in which Russian spelling does not match pronunciation. The historical transformation of into v in genitive case endings and the word for him is not reflected in the modern Russian orthography. The pronoun ego j -vo, his, him, and the adjectival declension suffixes ogo and ego. Orthographic g represents x in a handful of word roots, leg 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 easy and mag k, magic soft. There are a handful of words in which consonants which have long since ceased to be pronounced even in careful pronunciation are still spelled, e.g., the L in Solnes son, S son. N, and, N, are the only consonants that can be geminated within morpheme boundaries. 
Such gemination does not occur in loanwords. Between any vowel and i, excluding instances across affix boundaries but including unstressed vowels that have merged with i, j, may be dropped, iced a, saint, stork, and delet, dt, does. Halley cites za as it and other instances of intervening prefix and preposition boundaries as exceptions to this tendency. Stress in Russian may fall on any syllable and words can contrast based just on stress e.g. muka muck or deal, pain, anguish versus m -ka flower, meal, farina. Stress shifts can even occur within an inflectional paradigm, doma dom house gen. sg, versus doma d ma houses. The place of the stress in a word is determined by the interplay between the morphemes it contains, as some morphemes have underlying stress, while others do not. However, other than some compound words, such as morazistajivai m raz frost resistant, only one syllable is stressed in a word. Velarizes hard consonants, tai t, u, sing, o, and u, velarize and labialize hard consonants and labialize soft consonants, bok bok, side, ness ns, he carried, between a hard consonant and o, a slight w, offglide occurs, most noticeably after labial, labia dental and velar consonants, e.g. mock, side, m walk. Similarly, a weak palatal offglide may occur between certain soft consonants and back vowels, e.g., laska thy l jack. Topic. See also. Help IPA Russian. Russian alphabet. Russian orthography. Reforms of Russian orthography. History of the Russian language. List of Russian language topics Index of phonetics articles